Okay guys, this is Dal and today I'm just going to show you how to like color craft clip, crop it, get all the ghost in rid of it, all that sort of stuff because it's just loads of people just, I don't know what it is, but they're uploading all these videos, just record a game, they round out it, and it looks terrible, like there's got some ninja to it. So um, I'm just going to show you how to do a uh, pretty quick color craft and gives you really nice effect, really nice colors, all that sort of stuff. So basically I just finally downloaded this clip I don't know where I got it from but whatever so um, first of all we're just gonna go and crop this clip so we're gonna, we're gonna go to event pan and crop and we're just gonna go over here it says maintain aspect ratio hit no and this is gonna get rid of all of the black bars in a second we're just gonna bring this in just a little bit on each side and there we go that's all you have to do there you can see that it's preset if you want I'm sure you know how to do that I hope you know how to do it we're going to right click on the clip again and now we're going to go down to properties and we're going to hit disable resample and what that does is basically stops all of the ghosting that you see because what Vegas is trying to do is in between frames it's trying to create a frame almost from two frames so when you hit disable resample it's not doing that and it doesn't appear all ghosty and shit but you have to do this on a raw clip you can't do it in a rendered out one so you won't see any effect here because this is a rendered out one because I downloaded it Okay, so um, if you have Vegas Pro 9, this is probably the best plugin in it for video effects anyway. It's called Self Contrast, and I already have a preset for this, but you're going to have these three. So drag on one big net, big net, I don't even know if I pronounced it right, but whatever. We're going to go over to the strand and drag it down. That's going to get rid of all of that black bar shit. And all, already that looks pretty good, as you can see that. So, um, we're going to go back over to the effect and we're going to mess around with a few things. So a uh, stretch range is really sort of, well, it, it, it just really controls the brightness. I have it usually around 60, and put the contrast just up a little bit more. You don't want to put it up too much. If you bring this way down, it's going to take away all of this nice tinted color and all that. So diffusion, you don't really need to mess with it. Um, tint, I wouldn't mess with it. I'd keep it low, around 30s, 20s. Because if you put it up way too high, it's just going to go all over the place. You can change this hue down here for the colors. Uh, I usually like to keep it at a warm sort of orangey color and a low tint on it. Gives you a nice sort of fat, if you know what I mean. But anyway, we're just going to keep it there at the moment. So that's all. That's pretty much color crafted already. But I'm just going to bring on one last thing, and it's color curves. And I have a load of different ones here. You should have the same amount. I only have a few extra. But basically all we're going to do is just manually do this. And sort of an S shape. And what this is going to do is just make the contrast and the brightness just sort of a little bit more. And it's the S sort of shape. Curved S. And that's just going to make everything stand out a little bit more. And it's just going to look pretty good. As you can already see this looks pretty good so that's it without color correction and that's it with stands out a lot better so yeah you can go over the top with all this sort of stuff I have a load of different crazy presets I've got one for each map and cut four and <laughs> this is my favorite one sometimes it gives you crazy effects really nice color correction and it works best when you have it on PS full but it's obviously gonna lag out a bit here but yeah, <coughs> so um, that's basically color correction 101. You can go over the top of this. I'm not really that bothered, but uh, yeah, just do the basic color correction and it'll make these things look a bit better. So uh, yeah, this is Dal, and if you need any more tips, anything like that, there, then give me a shout, and I'll do another one of these.